Alhamdulillah, we thank Allah and we praise Him, and we ask Allah to send peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this hadith, I mean, sorry, this dua is on page sixty-one. Have you going to see it? So I'll do the Arabic first. And then we'll go over the meeting. Is that okay? Okay. So I'll say like one uh, sentence or one phrase, and then you can repeat after me. Allahumma hdini fi man hadayt. Allahumma hdini fi man hadayt. Wa fi man a'fayt. Wa aashini fi man a'fayt. وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ إِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُبْضَى عَلَيْكِ إِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُبْضَى عَلَيْكِ وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَهُ وَعَلَيْتِ وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَهُ وَعَلَيْتِ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ أَعَدَيْتِ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ أَعَدَيْتِ تَبَارَكْتَ تَبَارَكْتَ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْتِ رَبَّنَا وَتَعَالَيْتِ Okay, so The meaning of it, which is uh, uh, below the below the Arabic, it says, "You know, O oh Allah, guide me among those you have guided, and grant me security among those you have granted security, and take me into your charge among those you have taken into your charge, and bless me and what you have given, and guard me from the evil of what you have decreed." For you decree and nothing is to eat for you. He whom you befriend is not humble, blessed and exalted are you, our Lord. And the reference to this is from which hadith? Abidawud. Right. Abidawud, number 1425. Okay. So why don't you do this for me? If you don't, look at the English. And if you see something you don't uh, know the meaning of in the English language, why don't you like mark it or, or highlight it or underline it or something? I'll give you a few seconds to do that. So then I'll ask you uh, one of these words and ask you the meaning of this. So. Make sure you know the meaning of all the words in English. If you're ready, you finish, just raise your hand. Okay. You know, we're doing uh, a dua today, and dua is very important because this is one of the, one of the fundamentals of Islam. Like, are we worship, anything you do in Islam, any ibadat, any action, is gonna have some kind of dua in it. You're gonna be asking Allah, oh Allah, you know, accept this fasting from me, or accept this zakat from me. I'll tell you a story before I continue. You know, uh, who likes sports here? Who likes to play sports? Yeah, football? Basketball, okay. So, yeah, people like basketball, that's good. Soccer, football. So there was a team, and uh, when they did badly, so the coach would say, guys, 
gentlemen, we're going to have to go to the basics. We're going to have to go to the fundamentals. So he would pick up a football, say, this is a football. And then one of the guys, you know, one of the players, he said, coach, coach, not so fast, not so fast. Right? So this is one of the fundamentals of Islam, uh, having dua, making dua in every, any action you do, any ibadat you do. And this is one of the uh, most beautiful duas you will come across. Okay. Is there any word you didn't understand? Is this, um... Okay. So let me ask you, what does exalted mean? Who knows what exalted means? Raise your hand if you know what it means. Or oh, just say it. Tell me the meaning of that. It's like the highest. Right. It's the high. Very good. Go ahead. Yeah, exalted. Good. Very good. So exalted means he's high, he's uppermost. Okay. Very good. So let's do the meaning of this. Allahumma dini fi man hadai. Oh Allah, guide me among those you have guided. So, who did Allah guide? Who do we want to be like? Yeah. So Allah guided uh, basically all of humanity. If Allah doesn't guide us, we will never be guided. It's only by the mercy of Allah that He guides us. Okay. And even if the Prophet tried to guide someone, it's only Allah who what? Who guides. Yeah. For example, one of the uncles of the Prophet, he didn't become a Muslim. Right? And he wanted him to be Muslim, and he didn't become it. He didn't accept Islam. So the Prophet didn't force him, and he is very sad, Abu Talib. So we make this dua to Allah. Oh Allah, guide us among those you have guided. Okay. And the next part is, who can tell me? You can say the Arabic. Go ahead. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I think most of you memorize this dua. It's very nice. Very good. So it says, "Wa'afini fi man afid," and pardon me. And here it says security, but "afini" means like you know to forgive, to pardon, to pardon, to overlook. Because we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and sometimes we know our mistakes, and sometimes we we don't know our mistakes. Like we we might have said something bad. And we hurt somebody's feelings, we don't even know it. And the person, you know, you, the person holds a, what? a grudge. So we want to be among those who Allah has pardoned, or forgiven. Okay. And the next one, who can tell me the next Arabic? Go ahead. Right. Like, so, and make me among those who you have, uh, it says over here, Mm, take me into your charge. So actually, this a better translation would be uh, the ones you are friended, befriended, that you are a friend of, or you have a, a wali of. So that's like who? Who did Allah befriend? Yeah, right? Ibrahim al Islam, very good. Right? His nickname was Khalilullah, the friend of Allah. So you want to be among that group. You don't want to be among a different type of group. Okay. Next part. Go ahead. Anyone? Why don't you go ahead? Can you do that? Mm. <coughs> yeah. Wabarik li fima aate. Try it again. Wabarik li fima aate. Very good. Excellent. And bless me in what you have given me. What do you have given me? Give me baraka. And what is baraka? Let's say, right? You may have only a few dollars, and Allah can make that few dollars, you know, make it last the entire week. And the more thankful you are, the more you will get. The more grateful you are, what happens? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذْتَعَذَنْ رَبِّكُمْ لَا إِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَا أَزِيدًا لِكُمْ وَلَا إِنْ كَفَرَتُمْ إِنْ عَذَابٍ لَشَدِيدًا If you're thankful, I will give you more. So one way to get barakah in your life, is to ask Allah, and another way is to be? Yeah, thank you. So this is a very good dua. Uh, okay, next part. Who can tell me? Go ahead. Yes. Okay. And protect me from what? Guard me from the evil that you have uh, decreed. 
So we, we ask Allah SWT, if something bad is going to happen to me, okay, to change it, to change it to good. Next, go ahead, the next uh, part of it. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Okay. And you decree and nothing is decreed for you. So you can't, you know, Allah is the one who decides. He's the one who what? What does he do by decree? What does decree mean? What's going to happen tomorrow? Like he knows it's going to rain tomorrow. He knows, you know, uh, when the sunset happens, when it's going to come out, who's going to die, who's going to be born. Everything is decreed by Allah and nothing is decreed against Allah. Okay, so he's the one in, who is Allah, he's the one who is in charge. Okay. And the next part, go ahead. Yes, and what does that mean? Someone tell me in the back. What do you say in the English? What well, in no end, he is the one that no one can uh, disgrace if he befriends you. If Allah is with you, okay, listen carefully, pay attention. If Allah is on your side, then no one can disgrace you. Like, you know my friend, um, he became Muslim. So he told me that if you want to find out, he's Catholic, you know, he's like white, blue eyes, blonde hair in London. So when he became Muslim, he said, if you want to find out who your true friends are, be Muslim. Be Muslim, you know, uh, practice being a Muslim, and you find out who your true friends are. Well, you know what happens nowadays? If someone knows you're Muslim, they usually make fun of you, right? They make fun of you and they say things like, yeah, why do you have, you know, uh, why do you pray? Okay, why do you dress like that? They make fun of you. But look at the next, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? He said, if Allah, if He is on your side, if He is your protector, then no one can do what? Um, yeah, no one can disgrace you. No one can, I don't know, dis, you know, what does disgrace mean, by the way? Shame you, right? Good. Okay. So let's do the next, almost finish with this surah, oh, I mean, uh, dua. What's the next part? Right. And, and no one will have what? No one will have izza, okay, respect, dignity, if Allah is his enemy. If Allah is an enemy to someone, that person will not have what? Will not have any respect, dignity. Uh, what does dignity, respect mean? Huh? Honor, respect. Yeah, honor, right? Right? It's the opposite of being shame. So I remember one time there was, um, you know, there's a surah in the Quran and it talks about that, you know, the mujrim, mujrim is the person who's guilty. It's like you know, an evil person and the, the criminal. And they used to make fun of the believers. Yeah, like they used to wink with their eyes, you know, make jokes, hey, laugh at them. But on the day of judgment, who's going to have the last laugh? The believers, right? So when I told this, when I told this uh, ayah in the Quran, and I'll give you this as a homework for you. If, you. if you can find out, this surah talks about this story. That, you know, the mujrim, the bad people, they make fun of the Muslims. Yeah? And on the day of judgment, the believers will be sitting and laughing at them. Now, I remember telling this story like 20 years ago, and the little kid, you know, she started laughing. She was so happy. And, you know, this is what's going to happen on the day of judgment. So find out which surah this is, and then we can uh, write it down. Okay, so the, the last part is Tabaratta Rabbana wa Ta'ali. Blessed is Allah, okay, the Master, Rabbana, our Master, wa Ta'ali. And he is the most, what? Well, the alib is what? Yeah, in other words, 
high. Yeah, high. He's the most high. Just like we say, Subhana Rabbi Yal A'la. Our master is perfect, who is the most high. So this is the lesson for today. Uh, memorize this. Know the meaning of it. And when you think about it, you know, when you're reading this dua, you know, feel happy that no one can uh, disgrace me, no one can make fun of me, because at the moment, the believer will have the last last on the Day of Judgment. Okay, any questions before I finish? Okay, does that for for listening? Any patience? Subhanahu wa ta'ala, 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 wa ta'